Every year, modern medicine breaks another boundary and science fiction becomes science fact. But there is one field which is pushing those boundaries further than most, the science of smiles. Today, researchers all over the world are working on incredible new ways to keep us all smiling. Now, surgeons in developing countries can transform a family's life using machines no bigger than a suitcase and rebuild a father's confidence with super strong bionic teeth. Dr. Miguel Stanley is on a journey to discover how incredibly far we've come in the field of dentistry, from advanced robots to artificial intelligence, unlocking the secrets of sharks and even rewriting our own DNA. Science is going to extraordinary lengths to create the smile of the future. My name is Dr. Miguel Stanley, and I've been practicing advanced dentistry for the past 20 years. I'm lucky enough to have the opportunity to test some of the most advanced and most exciting technologies on the market. And I'm always eager to see how the latest breakthroughs can change lives. I think I've got one of the best jobs in the world because I give people back their smiles and to stand by them when they look in the mirror for the first time is just fantastic. I'm really grateful that I get to be a dentist in this current era because all this awesome technology is really making my job a lot of fun. With technology getting smaller, smarter, faster and cheaper, Miguel is going to put it to the test and see if it has the power to help patients in some of the remotest parts of the developing world. I really believe that in a very short amount of time, it will be so much more accessible to everyone around the world. And that's why Miguel has come here to Uganda in East Central Africa, where poor dental health is a big concern. 93% of the population here suffer from tooth decay. But slowly, technology is making a big difference, helping to improve lives. Far north of the capital is a remote region called Bukadea, and it's here that Miguel has found a patient in desperate need of advanced technology. 36-year-old mother Joy Siddiqui lives in a rural village with her husband and six children. Their closest dental clinic is a 20-kilometre walk. Just under a year ago, a bad infection took hold between her two front teeth and what could have been a simple treatment, if caught early, soon resulted in her losing several teeth. It's easy to take for granted how most of us are lucky enough to have fast and easy access to dental care in an emergency to quickly prevent pain, discomfort or even embarrassment. But for Joyce and many like her, this situation is commonplace and permanent. There are creatures in nature that are immune to the misery of lost teeth. Sharks. In a single lifetime, these prolific hunters can regrow up to 50,000 new teeth, each 
as lethal as the last. And unlocking the secrets of this amazing ability could soon make Joyce's problem a thing of the past. In the UK, Dr. Gareth Fraser and his team at Sheffield University believe that we are closer than you might think to making this a reality. Humans have two sets of teeth. You have a milk set and a permanent set of teeth. The difference between sharks and humans is that humans only make the second set. They never make a third, fourth, fifth. And behind that, you have the newly developing teeth. And so what happens when those teeth develop, they move into position, and in a conveyor belt-like way, they sort of stepwise make their way up and over the jaw to become functional. Shark teeth and human teeth are incredibly similar. So sharks and humans actually share the same genes that make teeth. The only difference is that sharks continue to make those teeth using those, those same cells with the same genes, whereas humans have silenced some of those genes. Those genes have been switched off, and so we don't continue to make teeth in that way. So the ultimate aim of our research is trying to figure out whether we can turn those cells on in, in humans to reactivate the process of tooth regeneration. It sounds like science fiction, but in the future, we may be able to regenerate our teeth just like sharks. Imagine a world where a trip to the dentist involves a quick injection into the gum of a recently lost tooth. A week later, you awake to find the beginnings of a brand new tooth growing in its place. Reawakening this gene for tooth regeneration could soon become a reality with a radical science known as gene editing. In the United States, biochemist Dr. George Church is one of the world leaders in gene editing and a process called CRISPR, which could soon allow us to completely rewrite our own DNA. This is DNA, right? So it's a beautiful molecule and from it, you can construct everything. You can construct the entire, almost the entire world is made up of the consequences of DNA. CRISPR is one of those gifts from nature, and it works in essentially every cell, every organism on the planet. The key to this process is a tiny protein found in bacteria, which has the ability to read DNA and alter it like a tiny pair of molecular scissors. And it scans randomly. It doesn't come in like a guided missile um, to exactly the right place. It literally goes through all six billion base pairs until it finds the right one. And we can program the recognition element in the computer to avoid the genome we don't want to touch and to only hit the one that we want to touch. It's mostly good at knocking genes out, but we can do it very precisely. We can say, I want to knock out this gene and none of the other genes. We're seeing some clinical applications already, uh, most notably in helping the immune cells that can attack cancers. There's some additional ones on blood diseases like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. Dr. Church believes that gene editing could also transform the field of dentistry by allowing us to grow lifelong, perfect teeth, stronger and more resistant to disease and decay. The way it might be administered is you might get an intravenous injection, let's say to the gums of a child before the first teeth sprout, and the CRISPR-edited stem cell could be better than your normal teeth. This miracle cure can't help Joyce just yet. However, cutting-edge science does exist, which can restore her smile today. I'm confident that we are going to be able to give Joyce back her smile because everybody has a right to smile. Hello, Joyce. It's so nice to meet you. We're going to put two new teeth in your smile and help you chew, smile, and talk better. OK? OK. Dr. Miguel Stanley has set out to prove that cutting-edge technology now has the power to change lives and restore the smile of Joyce Adiki, a young mother in one of the most remote regions of the world. Here in Uganda, Dr. Tom Mutabule 
is one of the country's leading dentists who shares Miguel's passion about embracing new technology. Roughly we have about 300 dentists who practice in the country, uh, which is a very unfortunate situation. So there's roughly 40 million people living in Uganda. Correct. And 300 for the entire population. The entire population. The ratios are one dentist for every 150,000 people. So Tom, having understood the numbers, what do you think are some of the biggest challenges facing young dentists and senior dentists here in Uganda today? There are two main problems we have in Uganda. First is the education. Educating dentists is very expensive because the materials and equipment are very expensive. Another problem is the lack of equipment in the rural areas. You may have a dentist, but the lack of equipment limits what they can do. And so with technology, hopefully the dentists, even in remote areas, can do much more for their patients. Is technology improving the quality of dentistry here in Uganda? Absolutely. Uh, technology, even as we, as we speak, has improved the quality of delivery and the speed of delivery of dental care. So that means fewer dentists can do much more. In order to do the kind of surgery that Joyce needs, we need a lot of technology. It's going to be a challenge. There are two experimental projects currently underway, which could help people like Joyce in the very near future. At Buffalo University in the States, Dr. Praveen Arani is using infrared lasers to stimulate stem cells and actually regenerate teeth. In this particular study, we use light treatment to activate a protein which can stimulate dental stem cells this treatment can prevent the need for a root canal and maintain the live tooth in your mouth. Meanwhile, in Australia, Researchers at Queensland University are experimenting with a remarkable new technology known as bioprinting. This miracle machine combines an artificial gel with living human stem cells to reconstruct whole sections of bone and ligament, once lost to disease and decay. In the future, this technology could be used to print and replace entire sections of Joyce's jaw complete with teeth. Bioprinting may not be around today, but advanced 3D printing using artificial materials could still save Joyce's smile. Simple technologies such as 3D printing, which only a decade ago were unthinkable, you can buy these for now $500. These could help inexperienced surgeons use this technology to print the teeth and, and help people like Joyce um, get back on track. Which is why Miguel's team hasn't come all this way empty-handed. Not only is modern dental technology becoming more powerful, it's also shrinking, making it lighter and much more portable. Perfect for remote regions of the developing world. The team have brought Joyce to her closest dental clinic in the town of Mbale, where local dentist Dr. Esther Lynn Musinguzi is preparing to learn for the very first time how to 3D print and place bionic implants for Joyce's life-changing operation. This is Joyce, our yes. lovely patient. Hi Joyce, how are you? Welcome. Welcome today. So Joyce, are you looking forward to your new smile? Dr. Esther, what are the typical kind of cases that you get on a day-to-day -day basis here in your practice? By the time the patient comes here, most times the disease has been so advanced 
that there's little that we can do. We can't save the tooth anymore, and we have to painfully take the tooth out. But this is your first time at implant surgery. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm excited. I can't wait to do this, to use this technology, to be able to place an implant in such a short time and be able to possibly restore it. So I'm just hoping for the best. Today, Dr. Esther will have the support and guidance of experts all around the world. Dr. Katarina Rodriguez is a dental surgeon and my digital imaging expert from Lisbon. Her first job is to show Dr. Esther how to create a 3D scan of Joyce's mouth. To do this, we use a handheld gadget called an IOS, like a magic wand. This thing can map every single bump and groove in Joyce's gum line. IOS stands for Intraoral Scanner. It's an awesome technology that pretty much takes 3,000 images a second and maps the inside of the mouth. It's a digital impression. We've all gone to the dentist and taken one of those molds of our mouths. This is that, but in a digital format. Next, a team of dentists in South Korea will help her to design Joyce's new teeth from 6,000 miles away. We have just uploaded all the files. Can you just confirm it's all good and ready to print? Your work and planning looks great. Our team changed the little amount of the design. So now it looks great and you're good to go. Okay, so we are ready. Good luck with the surgery. Thank you so much. This is true digital dentistry in its most purest form. Scanning with an intraoral scanner, planning it on the cloud with a team in another part of the world, and then having an inexperienced dentist learning from the cloud as well how to perform the procedure. As long as you have a 3D printer, you can then have instant access to deliver state-of-the-art smile. But this is no ordinary 3D printer. Rather than melting plastic, it uses a liquid resin solidified by a high-powered laser. A process called photopolarization. The result is a much faster and more accurate model made from a strong, sterilizable material. Look at this. Wow. Exactly what we designed in the system. Yeah. Ready to go yeah. straight into the patient's mouth. With Joyce's state-of-the-art teeth printed and set, it's finally time to begin rebuilding her smile. Here in rural Uganda, Miguel and his team have brought some of the most advanced dental equipment in the world. Powerful, but portable enough to help restore Joyce's smile. Yes, perfect, perfect, Is okay. Perfect? This has to match with the window. window. Okay. I will help you, okay? okay. So it was smooth initially, yeah, but, but now, now it's, it's getting, getting yeah. tighter. Well, that's what we want. Yeah. Very good. Tiny metal implant screws are designed to fit into the jaw and bond perfectly with the bone. Acting like anchors, they ensure that these bionic teeth remain firmly in place and never move. Despite being Dr. Esther's first time at implant surgery, it takes just 45 minutes for her to fully restore Joyce's teeth. We're done. So Joyce, what do you think about your new smile? I love you. I'm so excited for her. I mean, she said that she feels like a woman again. That's that's a heavy word. That's a heavy, heavy statement. It's okay. Back at the village. A large crowd of family and friends are waiting to see Joyce's brand new smile.
How do you feel now being here back with your family? <laughs> Not only will Joyce's new teeth affect her appearance and confidence, they will also help restore her speech. Okay, now go fa fa fa. Fa fa fa. You see, so now you can talk better and you can smile and be with your beautiful family and happy again. <laughs> really happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Things that only a few years ago required a large laboratory and incredibly expensive and heavy technology are now becoming easier, faster, more predictable. And this truly is the 21st century bionic dentistry. It's not just dental hardware which is getting smaller and faster. Now intelligent software could be set to slash the cost of dentistry in developing countries. Engineers in Canada are working with a powerful artificial intelligence to diagnose patients autonomously. This AI can detect cavities and infections in thousands of patients per second. Already, this system is being tested on patients in the real world and suggesting treatments and identifying problems before they arise. Today, South Korea are world leaders in dental technology. And it's here that the super strong titanium screws of Joyce's new teeth were designed and manufactured. It's believed that there are now more cutting edge artificial teeth fitted in South Korea than anywhere else on earth. Have you ever had dental implants? Uh, actually, I have an implant. You have an implant? Yeah, my father did it. Your father? Yeah. Father's friend. Your father's friend? Yeah. I have one. My dad? Yeah. I do. He's the doctor. So you placed an implant in your yes, father? Right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've had this one done in Korea before. Yeah. And yeah. how was that experience for you? It's safe, it's cheap, it's clean, it's fast. It's right. It's pretty good. What for you is the most important thing about your teeth? Chewing. Chewing. <laughs> <laughs> we love white teeth and very clean and organized teeth. That's, That's why we love den uh, dental uh, procedures. implants. Yeah. Procedure. yeah, of course. Two hours south of Seoul by bullet train. This high-tech factory in Daegu designs and manufactures some of the most advanced bionic teeth in the world. Each implant starts off life as a length of medical grade titanium. Milled by machine into tiny but incredibly strong and valuable screws. But the secret to why these titanium implants bond so quickly and perfectly with human bone is all thanks to the way that they are intricately etched and coated. First, the screws are blasted with sand to bond with the surface of bone and ensure an incredibly firm hold. Next, the screws are coated with calcium ions to boost bone growth and prevent rejection. Fellow dental surgeon Dr. Park is the company founder and the brains behind this ingenious calcium treatment, which has drastically reduced the time it takes to install each implant safely. With the previous design of the implants, it was uh, about uh, six months. But thanks to the design of the implants, these implants, and uh, thanks to the, uh, the science of surface treatments, so we can shorten the waiting period. We can do uh, crowns uh, at the same day, so patient can chew at the, at the same day. This is really big change, big jump for the implant treatments. These bionic titanium roots are destined for dental clinics all around the world, and the turnover is staggering. How many implants do you expect to produce this year? 
This year, we expect uh, more than one million implants. That's one million extra teeth in human beings around the globe, over 100 countries. Yes. That is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Thanks to clever design and cutting edge machinery, same day implant surgery is now a reality and it's revolutionizing modern dentistry. As speed and simplicity increase, the cost of these bionic implants is set to plummet. Now, not only is technology allowing surgeons to treat patients in remote countries, it's also allowing them to heal patients from the past by restoring the smile of a young father who lost his teeth long before his time. To understand just how far the science of dentistry has come, we need to know where it started. 200 years ago, if you had problems with your teeth, you'd come to a place like this, a barber shop. There would have been just one procedure on the menu, extractions. And the tools they would have used were considerably cruder than today. It's no wonder that 200 years ago, a leading cause of death was in some way attributed to teeth. In the UK, the head of museum services at the British Dental Association is Rachel Bairstow, who knows more than most about the grim history of dentistry. So, if you were suffering from the agonies of toothache, you would need to have your teeth extracted, probably with one of these instruments. Um, all this would obviously would be without the benefit of any kind of anaesthetic. So these are pretty crude forceps, and he's going to come in with this big pair of forceps and wrench out those teeth, possibly more than one, possibly the wrong one. The pelican works slightly differently. The claw would go over the tooth with the bolster going into the gum and out to the side, and the tooth would fall. And then this one is called a tooth key. It works in a very similar way. The claw, different sized claws, wrapped over the crown of the tooth and we twist and there we go relief at last so once you'd had your teeth extracted you might be looking for a set of these so these are ivory dentures so that's hippopotamus or walrus ivory and what's so special about these is that human teeth have been inserted into this denture here are some human teeth that have been strung up, ready for sale, either taken from the battlefields of Waterloo, from dead bodies, from mortuaries, or from grave robbing. The trade in human teeth was enormous. There was such a demand that even poor people would resort to selling their own healthy teeth to make money. Dentures, unfortunately, are still not a thing of the past. Depending where you live in the world, it's usually the only option. They are um, still pretty much made the same way they were 100 years ago. Unfortunately, there are millions and millions of people around the world today that depend on dentures to lead a normal life. Hugo Kelsa is one such patient. 10 years ago, he came to me in his early 30s with severe gum disease and tooth decay. And back then, the diagnosis wasn't good. Hugo lives in a beautiful, scenic part of Portugal. It's called Vila Nova da Baronia, where he runs a small family uh, business, a little restaurant. Uh, he's married and he's got a beautiful little daughter. Hugo came to us uh, pretty much in total despair. His gums were completely destroyed. He had bone infections, he had cavities on every single tooth. He was in a lot of pain and and I sat down with the team and, and him, and the only thing we could do was just, we had to take out all his teeth. Yeah, this is denture. It's awkward. It's not part of you. It's annoying because it, you fill your mouth full, you know, <laughs> without having anything inside. We have to take it off. We have to wash it. We have to take care of it. Take some time to get comfortable with dentures because it's awkward having this in, inside your mouth. Removing somebody's teeth is never an easy decision. It's, um, 
almost like mutilation. It's, it's like an amputation. You're technically losing a very, very vital part of your body. And if you think about it, it's where you chew, it's, it helps you talk, it helps you communicate. It wasn't an easy decision. Yeah, it was very difficult for me and um, my family. Well, my daughter, she says, I know, Father, that it's not your real teeth. I always try to get out of the subject, you know. I always try to say, no, I have some teeth. Not all of them are dentures. Uh, one of my passions is food. Food brings us together. Uh, yeah, food, it's like a um, universal language. It's very hard to chew and taste real food, you know, with no proper teeth. I miss that. I think teeth are a very important part of, of our character, of uh, the smile. It's one of the biggest things that we can give to humanity. The dentures affect my smile, yeah, and because it's um, artificial, it's not your true smile. It's awkward, it's sad, and don't bring light to your, to your life, you know? So I believe that uh, inside of me, there's a better person yet, uh, more confident, yes, for sure. And the lack of teeth, yes, it's important, really, really important to your life. If you don't, you can't imagine it, but it is. Teeth are very important for our overall health. And in general, not many people understand that. So here we have a hardened structure that is in contact with the elements that if we don't take care of correctly, could lead to infections directly into the bone. And if you think about it, the blood circulates through your brain, through your pancreas, through your eyes, through your heart. It's going to pass through that infected area on a daily basis hundreds of times. So healthcare, oral healthcare, is of vital importance to overall health. Over time, infections rooted in the mouth can result in a cascade of problems throughout the body including diabetes, Alzheimer's, kidney failure, and strokes. In fact, mounting evidence suggests that missing teeth even have a bizarre impact on our balance and coordination. It seems the same nerves which control chewing and communication are strangely linked to those which control our overall posture and movement. So something as seemingly insignificant as a lost tooth can have a remarkable impact on the entire body. Today, I've invited Hugo back to my clinic in Lisbon because I believe that thanks to the very latest technology, it's now possible to fully restore his teeth in less than a single day. We're gonna give Hugo a complete new set of bionic teeth and it's gonna transform his life forever. Today, Hugo Calsa has come to Miguel's clinic in Lisbon for cutting edge dental surgery that will completely restore his teeth and finally, after 10 years, give him back his smile. We don't just have to be scientists and doctors. You know, we have to understand tech. We also have to be engineers and uh, almost artists to create that beautiful aesthetic. We can use software to design your smile before you even say yes to the treatment. There's no denying that technology has really moved on a lot. And things are changing rapidly every single day. Even for patients like Hugo, who have lost almost all of their teeth to disease and decay, we now have the power to rebuild his smile from scratch. We begin with the iOS scanner, just like Joyce, to map the inside of Hugo's mouth. Then we go a stage further with a sophisticated scanning device known as CBCT. This allows us to see right down inside Hugo's existing teeth and bone. The difference between a CBCT or a regular X-ray machine is that a regular X-ray is a two-dimensional image, whereas a CBCT is a three-dimensional image. It allows us to make sure that we know how thick the bone is. And for implant placement, that's just a fundamental tool. 
So if you take the CBCT image and then the iOS scan and you fuse those together, you've pretty much got a perfect view of the patient's mouth and inside the bone. It's an incredible tool for us dentists to have almost x-ray vision. Intricate 3D scans, this accurate, have transformed dental surgery with a computerized way of working, which has become known as digital dentistry. A perfect virtual view of the patient's mouth is allowing dentists to treat patients much more effectively. Ultimately, this is leading to faster, cheaper dentistry. Last year in China, researchers took digital dentistry further still with the world's first robotic dentist. A fully automated robot arm capable of replacing teeth by itself using precise 3D scans. In its first human trial, two teeth were successfully replaced with minimal aid from trained dentists. While in South Korea, Dr. J.C. Kim wants to combine the accuracy of a robot with the empathy of a human. We are the human, and we have some sensation and some emotion. We can, we can feel the patient's pain. If they show us some action, oh, this patient uh, feel the some pain. But robot never, never catch this kind of the human emotion. So even though robot support me, I can freely use my hand like this. But if human will make the some mistake, the robot will control me, and then it will correct my direction like this. So could the future of dentistry? rests not just on bionic teeth, but a bionic glove. Here in Lisbon, Hugo's operation is firmly in human hands. However, computers are guiding their every move. This little 3D printed guide is an intricate map of the entire operation and it's revolutionized the speed and accuracy of dental surgery. How are you doing, my friend? Okay. Okay, let's try the guide. Yeah. Open wide, my friend. Relax. Designed using Hugo's scan, it matches the contours of Hugo's gum line perfectly. With guide holes to direct the drill with microscopic precision. What a 3D surgical guide allows dentists to do is to correctly position the implant. It's a lot more accurate and it doesn't allow for any deviation of the position of the drill. So we've got to get the implant all the way down past that green line and we know that this implant is in the right angle, right position as my team designed it. So we've got a 13 millimeter implant here we go. Hugo, you'll be chewing apples tomorrow with me in the Alentejo. All right. Last implant of the day. How you doing? You good, my brother? I'm really, really confident that this is going to be the best surgery me and my team have ever done. With the titanium roots firmly in place, it's time to make the teeth themselves. And this time, we have an entire laboratory at our disposal to create Hugo's state-of-the-art smile. Hugo Kalsa is undergoing life-changing surgery, which will replace his dentures with a permanent set of bionic teeth. While Joyce's teeth were made from photopolymerized hardened resin, Hugo's are something quite different. Discs super hard composite are placed inside a state-of-the-art desktop milling machine. In the past, this process could have taken days 
as each tooth was crafted and baked by hand. But today, thanks to this incredible new technology and advanced materials, it has taken just four hours to manufacture and place 12 brand new bionic teeth. All right, Hugo, here you go. So what do you think? Oh, <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I like it, you know, yeah. Yeah? It's different, it's a touch, and you can feel it. You know? Yeah, you can feel it, it's like natural teeth. Yeah. Finally, after 10 years, Hugo is himself again. But what will the real judges his family think. Hola! Hey! It's a... <laughs> so Dilma, what do you think of Hugo's new smile? Uh, I have to kiss him. <laughs> you want to kiss him? <laughs> well, nothing's going to fall out anymore. <laughs> How do you feel today? I'm feeling terrific, man. It's like a brand new <laughs> smile, a brand new life, you know? It's great. <laughs> Look, I'm even smiling right now. <laughs> so, so yes, uh, I do feel much more confidence than before, for, for sure. Carolina, what do you think of your daddy's new smile? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I'm anxious to uh, eat an apple, for example. <laughs> Something that I don't do for 10 years now, so. Yeah, it's great, great. It's all about confidence, a great smile, and being happy again, you know? Thank you so much. Happy for you, man. Thank you so much. Technology has given him back his confidence, his smile, and the ability to share some of life's most precious emotions. Dentistry is undergoing a digital revolution. Transforming the lives of people like Hugo, who until recently was destined to live the rest of his life with dentures. Affecting his confidence, his speech, and the ability to eat the food that he loved. Bionic implants and 3D printed teeth can now provide replacements every bit as good as nature's originals. Increasing the quality of life and even the life expectancy of people like Joyce in some of the most remote regions of the world. This technology will be cheaper, will be more affordable. Dentistry is changing, transforming into something really exceptional. Right now, Somewhere on Earth, an artificial intelligence is diagnosing a patient. And soon, a robot could be performing the treatment. The future of our teeth could lie in unlocking the regenerative secrets of sharks, or the ability to design our own dental DNA. One day, very soon, Science could guarantee that our smiles last a lifetime, making lost teeth a thing of the past. <laughs>